Hello guys and welcome to a new brand video. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to remove constraints on Figma. So now, the first thing that you will need to do is to open your web browser and then you will need just to go to search bar. So you can use any web browser, either it was Google Chrome, Microsoft Edge, Mozilla Firefox or any web browser will do the work. After that, we need just to search for Figma and then we will find the first link that is the www.figma.com you click on it and basically you will need just to log in or create an account and basically here i'm already logged in you can just create an account by clicking on get started for free or you can just go and log in if you have already your account so basically i'm just going to log in my account now and after that we will need to create a new design here so basically you can just go and create new design file. You click on it and basically it will take you to your working space. And now all it means to do is to follow these simple steps. So now we are just going to create some shapes inside of this frame so we can edit our constraints. And basically you cannot really uh, remove the constraints from your Figma uh, frames or anything, but you can uh, edit them so they can fit however you want so basically either you can have uh, your constraint relative to some parts so let's suppose that we want just uh, this frame to be still on the center and basically whenever i'm going to resize my frame it will just follow the frame sizing and it will remain on the center as i did before otherwise if i did for example on top and uh, the left I will have my resizing that will be become uh, still or that will remain on the same position here but it will be resized on this side so as you can see nothing will change when i'm moving on the the bottom or right or any other place but whenever i'm going to resize from here it the shape will follow our framing so basically you will need just to have a good understanding on the constraints and you will need not to remove them because you cannot and basically the shape should uh follow the frame at some points so you can either have it on the center left and right and you can add more uh, things so let's have this axis on the left and this one that sh should remain on the center and now i'm going to resize our thing and as you can see it will have a different manner of reaction because it is uh, on the center on this axis but it will remain still on uh, the left and basically whenever i'm removing up and down it will follow but whenever i'm going back on the left it won't because this is its constraints and basically this is how you can do for the constraints on figma thank you for watching and see you next time